Hey, it's that song that everybody loves. Welcome back to this song that everybody loves in Sonic Adventure. Yeah, we haven't mentioned it, but it's like uh, mo- so much of this game's soundtrack, at least the Genesis version, is just Jun Sonoy going like, oh, I-, I like these songs. I'm going to reuse them in SA1. I thought it was just two remixes. Well, I mean, it's just 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 two songs. Uh, Green Grove, yeah. which was in Windy Valley. I thought, I thought there was one other song. I, th- I thought it was three. The, the third song was was on you the uh oh the the John... the, the, uh, the the uh, the uh, sonic 4 uh boss theme well no no um yeah there there is an unused boss theme in here that was used for sonic 4 but then there was also um oh no why can't i remember what the song was because originally david the special yes come on david don't let me down oh okay uh well, the the originally the special stages were supposed to have two different songs um oh, yeah. and the other song was repurposed for Sonic Adventure and I think it was is it the other Twinkle Park song? I think Oh no. I think it is. Really? The other Twinkle the other Twinkle Park theme is the huh. It is it? Oh yeah, it is the other Twinkle Park song. So yeah, the um Yeah. Oh right. Pleasure Castle, that's the name of the song. So I'm just I was going to hack this game up and find a beta version of Open Your Park in here. Right. So yes, Pleasure Castle is also an unused 3D Blast song. Uh, you, you can listen. That's the one then. It's a good, it's a good song. But why did he reuse the song? Um, well, because he likes them. Uh, because a, a certain region didn't get a certain game. I mean, one of the reasons I think is because this game only came out in Japan on the Saturn, so no one in Japan heard any of these songs. <laughs> so he yes. can get away with reusing them and without anyone really noticing. Yeah, I mean, I think in interviews he's like, "Oh, you know, it's just it's just a nod to things," but I think the real answer is no one knew them. It's a good time. Yeah. Um, His bosses yeah. didn't know, so he was like, "Oh, oh, this is great." <laughs> and and and, 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 Biden, and Biden, if if that happened, and like if that, and now nowadays when that happens, it's just used as a it's used as a reference rather than right. as a sneaky thing. Yeah, three D three D Blast was only released in Japan on the Sega Saturn as you know Flicky's Island, the same as the UK, and it was released on the same day as Sonic Adventure. It was actually the last first party. A Sega game released in Japan on the Saturn. As a little little piece of factoid uh, in episode four, good good times, you know. You love the Sonic facts. So two games that use the same music came out on the same day. Yes. <laughs> well, no, no. The Saturn version had had the um, oh the uh, Saturn version. Richard Jacks. Yes, the Richard the Jacks one. soundtrack. Oh, you unlocked Super Ooh. Sonic. You better press Spin Dash. <laughs> you better press Spin Dash. I jump <laughs> right now. I gotta get fifty rings. Stephen, hurry up! I gave them right. So I gave them all the knuckles. You know, uh, the the Richard Jacks soundtrack. He he did three D Blast. He did Sonic Why R. Why do you call him Jacks? Isn't it Jacks? Richard Jacks? Richard Jacques. Richard Jacques. Richard Jacques. I legit didn't Richard know that's Jakes. who you were talking about. I was sitting here like, who the fuck is Richard Jacks? Sonic Richard R-Man. Jakes. Jake Jack Jacques. Look, let's just call him. Um, Sonic R-Man. RJ. Disgraced former composer <laughs> Sonic <laughs> Arman. <laughs> All he did was have a fight with Bentley Joe. <laughs> Over email, very, <laughs> very pettily. <laughs> and and T Lopes. And, and subtweeted. Him. He subtweeted T Lopes. Well, you don't go picking on Bentley Jones. That's not nice. But no, Lee Brotherton, you can pick on. <laughs> Bentley Jones, though. Well, fuck no. him. I think it's. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy to pick on Bentley Jones, even though I will I will say that I, I have purchased multiple CDs from him. Because, um, you know, he has a because uh, uh, the, the the theme song to uh, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, the first one, so much more a CD single. Oh, I had right. to buy that. Um, I forgot that came out. And then I forgot that was a thing. And then there's he's done multiple versions of Dreams of an Absolution, which has been featured on multiple albums of his. So I had to get those. Yeah, as well. I, was gonna, I was gonna say ben, Bentley Jones wrote was one of my legitimate favorite songs of all time. So he'll always be cool in my heart until the day he gets canceled. As no. we all know. <laughs> Chris. I actually heard the recent version of Dreams of an Absolution. It's really good. Right, he did remake it uh, recently. That was, I think, it's on his album, which is like Translation Tenth Anniversary. So he had Translation One, Two, and Three, and then Translation Tenth, which means he skipped like seven or six. <laughs> I can't wait for Translation Two Ten. Uh, I do want to say I like the fact that the Flickies are in pods because it's like a neat a neat piece of world building. Like you're reaching Eggman's base, he hasn't had time to shove them in robots. 
It's it's story, it's world building, it's fun, it's cool. I like it. Flickies are cool. You're going to Act Two, Panic Puppet. Panic oh yeah, Puppet. Danic du- Danic Duppet. Danic Duppet is my favorite level. Danic Duppet. Oh, Danic yeah. Duppet. Excuse you. Danica, Danica Patrick Zone. <laughs> uh, here's a fun tip for you. There's no flickies in this level at all. That's right. What? The, what's, what's the point? It's, 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 it's like a real Sonic game. That's right. This is the only actual Sonic level in the game. Is it good? I... <laughs> <laughs> Can you it... go fast? Oh, man. It. Well, even Sonic's lost. He's like, what the fuck do I do? Where do I go? What? It's like playing Yoshi's Island without Mario. Mario? <laughs> well, what was that? <laughs> I, 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 swear you've, I swear you've gone in that loop like three times already. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different level. Oh no. Different. They programmed one loop. They were going to reuse it as often as they could. Oh. I was about to ask if this level scrolls like Metropolis Zone. No. Uh, uh. Uh, <gasps> uh, no. Oh, oh, you're oh, no. oh, super oh, you Sonic. Done it. Now what? Oh, he runs fast. Oh, he's so cool. Yeah. He's... He stands fast, too. <laughs> he does stand fast. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, he has speed shoes and 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 invincibility mm-hmm. and the supersonic theme. Who's that guy? Uh, it's playing right now and it doesn't continue. It ends. Oh, really? Oh. And then the level just goes back to playing the song. That's probably a good thing because one of the things that does bother me is that when you when you become supersonic, it just plays yeah. the same song forever. Like one of the best, especially in these stages. Right. One of the best things about <laughs> Sonic is the music, and then to purposely remove right. it for like a thirty second jingle is just a very odd choice. I've never at least in Sonic it. Two and Sonic Mania. Supersonic has an exclusive theme instead of just being the invincibility theme played for several minutes. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> if, if Supersonic has an actual theme, like in, yeah, in 2 and Mania, I think it's a lot better than yeah than just... Especially in Sonic 3, when it's just... Yeah, but I mean, even still, like, the, the Sonic 2 theme is not particularly long. Like, it's after... Not long, it's, it's at least different. It is different, but let's say you get all the Chaos Emeralds in Emerald Hill Zone, you're stuck with the song forever, because you can't even control when you become supersonic in that game. You're having a very hard time with this platform. Oh, see, oh, Steve, what, 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 what were you saying about Pixels? What was I saying about Pixels? The Adam Sandler movie? You're are you watching that? You're... Yeah, the Adam Sandler movie? What? <laughs> Cal and NTSC formats have different pixel scaling or something. Is Sonic in the movie Pixels? No. No? Why not? Do you want him to be? <laughs> sure. <laughs> He's in Ready Player One. We can get him in there. Oh man, his agent. I can't wait for Ready Player Two. <laughs> the book came out. Did you hear Sonic's in it? Oh man, I guess I better buy it. <laughs> As someone who grew up with the Iron Giants, I don't like what that movie did to me. I can't believe I can't believe Sonic is in a Steven Spielberg movie. Did you know that Ready Player One is, is, is a bad book? What? Oh look, it's Eggman. No. Um, I will say. What's neat, like, that stage is built around a giant Eggman robot thing, yeah. which is kind of also what happens in Mania. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Wow. So so, 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 so do, do, does Mania chronologically take place before or after this? Uh, I would say Mania takes place after. I, I would place Mania at the, at the end of what we consider, uh, I guess, what one would refer to as classic Sonic, right? Where all the... What about Sonic Pocket Adventure? Well, um, yeah. Well, Pocket Adventure, he's, he does have green eyes in that game, so. <laughs> no, because because we see him transition into green eyed Sonic during the game. Well, yeah, he's like, well, now is the time. That's right. Egg, right, Eggman does change his clothes at the end of Pocket Adventure. Most it through, just happens. Right through. About, you about ran time. into it. <laughs> it's <laughs> like it, in the original game when a thing gets destroyed, uh-huh. running into it doesn't hurt you. And I ran into it thinking it wouldn't, and it did. Wow, that's another change. We better add it to the list. John Telltale, what the <laughs> hell? Jonathan Taylor Thomas, what did you do? I have to update the retro wiki. <laughs> God, don't get to be started about that guy. <laughs> Fuck that. No, guy. it's no, it's Zachary Taylor Thomas. <laughs> That one's okay, because I don't know anything about him. J- Jonathan. Oh. JTT was at the Sonic 2 <laughs> premiere. <laughs> oh, God. He was like, wow, it's a really good game. He's like two players, and he got Tails. He's cool. Yeah, come on. This is pretty choice. wonder what Tim Allen's up to. 
Jonathan Taylor Thomas would have played Tails if, if they made if they made a Sonic movie back in that Oof. day. He would have played Tails. Oh man! No. Oh god, he's using the flame chaser from Gunstar Heroes. What the hell is going on here? Oh man, that that's a good Genesis game. It is. It's one of my favorites. Why aren't you playing that? <laughs> yes, Steven. What? Because <laughs> it's best in two player and there's a pandemic going on right now. What? It's called Netplay, you fool. Oh. When this releases in March, it'll be great. I mean... Oh. Look at all those... I think it, there's a spot where you can just stand and avoid all the blue. There is, but that takes... That takes longer. Yeah, but then you won't die. But I'm not... I don't die. Oh. Well, I don't know. Yes. That's a spoiler. Oh, shit. Steven hasn't died once. <laughs> Wait, what do, is, do, what, do, are, do, what do, is he do throwing your life, here? Do your lives reset? Because because, because you, you, you had four lives a few levels ago, and now you're down to three. No. Stefan, it's as if I've heavily edited this to to make the, the experience better for the viewer. <laughs> so you did die. No, no, he just hasn't died. He just lost a life because he's generous. He gave it to someone else. <laughs> he paused and pressed restart. Oh, man. Yeah. You got through Act 3. Look, even the threes in 3D. That's how you know this game's good. Wow. Your score is an even number. I like uh, that. Look. Ready for the best cutscene ever? Let me Sonic Tuber here. Time taken is an interesting expression. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, what's going on? I remember the first time I saw this, I I think I got excited. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Just the whole game, you were like completely neutral, and you saw that and went, ooh. Ooh, ooh. now we're talking. When I was I don't know why, really I don't young know why, but I kind of like... And bought oh, oh, sorry. this game. <laughs> <laughs> when I was really young and then bought this game, uh, I could never actually play it because the controls and platforming are all really terrible. Um, and I accidentally hit the cartridge and it does indeed take you to the level select. And I was like, what happened? And from that point onward, I just kept hitting the cartridge so I could keep <laughs> playing the final boss. How long did the game last? It still, it always worked until I sold it. Oh, why'd you sell it? But because I sold, I've, I've sold, sold everything that I've ever owned. Oh, so right <laughs> now you live in a box? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not even using my own microphone right now. I just saw a guy who's like, hey, can I use your Yeti <laughs> blue <laughs> microphone? <laughs> Man, Eggman's Coney Island disco palace looks great. Yeah. I don't know why I don't know why, but I've always like kind of I've always kind of liked the, the the design of this of this final boss. It's like it, I it, like it, it too. It, 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 it's not really a great like fight overall, but for some reason, and it's, it's not even like a super like. Like new and original design, it's just for some reason it has like it it, 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 it evokes some sense of like oh yeah th 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 this this boss is actually like rel this this one's actually memorable in some ways. <laughs> oh. Besides all the I mean, except for, except for the, the 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 boss the the last boss right before yeah. this when in the giant uh, Eggman suit like in, mm. in the giant Eggman I thought that one worked pretty well. It's like yeah these two, but everyone else has just kind of been very. I mean, this bit's neat. His head's inside. Eggman's throwing glitter everywhere. I hope Sonic will roar around and get it in his eyes. <laughs> I mean, I'll also say, I I like... I think I like the, the visual. The visuals for this game, I, I generally prefer the Saturn version, but when it comes to the final boss, I like the fact that it is just kind of this dark void. The Saturn version gives you a, a weird background of like I guess you're in a, a robot thing, and I don't like it. I like the the black background and and the blue like the, I mean not the blue the purple. Yeah. There's something very nice and simplistic and empty and weird and creepy and cool. You're in null space. So many so many descriptors. You're in null space. It's yeah, an untested I, method for final bosses. People do it right. for a reason. It works. Yeah, I, Eggman I, has I, the Phantom Ruby right now. Oh uh, no, he does. A Phantom Ruby? That's a pretty cool thing. They should bring that back more. It has. It does. Isn't that the thing that Metal Sonic took in Sonic Four Episode Two? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's really cool that they reached back to the older games like that when making that. <laughs> really thoughtful. Um, I have something that probably only David can answer. Okay. <laughs> What's that episode of AOSTH where Robotnik's going over all the different types of emeralds? Where he what? Has Chaos Emerald. Yeah, the Robotnik's going over all the different types of yeah. emeralds there are. Invisibility, invincibility, immortality, and life magic. Oh, wow. Oh, Goldstorm man. answered. It looks like he knew it, too. 
Right. Two? The power. I found that DVD in a, in a local store near me. David's like, I didn't know that, but yeah, that guy knew it too. <laughs> yeah, too. No, I knew it too, because it's a it's a four parter. It's like the, the those are the best episodes of the show. It's the only story arc I think in the entire show. Uh, yeah, I guess. It so is, what is it? It's, it's the uh, right because that fourth emerald because he says, oh, it's the power to control or the power to make life itself, and he gets very excited. And when he gets all four, he becomes big and buff. And it's very weird. Also, really long fingernails for some reason. Oh, you hey, meet man. the boss. And he takes off his shirt. Oh, just like, just like, just like, just like, just like the tall woman in Resident Evil Eight. <laughs> just like her? How? Amina, amina. How? How is that just like her? <laughs> giant, giant fingernails. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I like how Sonic's in the same pose. <laughs> Look at those hands. Look at those mugs. Those meat appendages. <laughs> well, he traveled. You know, into another dimension in his hands, girl. That's <laughs> it's just a side effect. <laughs> he went to bed and he woke up and he was Sonic Adventure. I just did what I wanted to do. Nobody messes with my friends. So, Steven, what this is your grand return to Sonic 3D Blast. How did you feel about it after you finished it? Were you like, eh, easy, good, good, not good? Uh, I felt I, I was like, Ooh. congratulations, I have unlocked the secret level select option. <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then I said credits. Relatable. And then I said program design and implementation. <laughs> John Traveler's Tales. I love it. How do you say that last name? James Traveler's Tales. Head designer. Oh. So you got Takayo, and, and you got Cats, Sato. Um. Yeah. If it's you're gone. if you're morbidly curious yeah. about this, it's it's pretty cheap. There he is. Get it. Or download it for free on the Pirate Bay. Is that still a thing? I don't know. Oh, they keep it going. Those that, those ships are still sailing. Yeah. Oh damn. David Dutz. And... Well, I mean, like, it, it, the, like I mean, like all, all the Sonic games on Steam are like, I mean, they're, they're not only, I mean, not only are they, yeah, like, they're like a dollar, cheap, but it's like Sonic 3D Blast is in like most Sonic compilations, so it's like. I mean, oh, there's Suzuka. It is. <laughs> it's in most compilations, but this version is. Yasuhara. There's Sonoy. So that's actually not a hundred percent. If you go back to the thingy, it's like sixty-six percent. It's like now you got to do all the time trials. Oh, uh, are you gonna do them? No. I thought we were doing a hundred percent. I don't want to. Rewatch this. Rewatch this LP with New Game Plus. Uh. Steven, I can't believe you didn't complete the LP. You know what this means, <laughs> David. You're fired. Wait, what? <laughs> Get your things and leave. Oh. But all my things are at home. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Good. Bring, bring them there. to the office and then pack them up. <laughs> I want to watch you leave. <laughs> anyway, oh. thanks everyone for joining us on whatever the hell that was. Let's see you for more Sonic. There's more Sonic coming at you. Don't worry, we're going to the well. Mm, money. I I am invited, right? 